And welcome once again, dear friends, to another edition of Fresh Bread. This is Reverend Phil Anderson here with you, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church in the capital city of Topeka, Kansas. Well, here it is now. It's Monday, April 12th, 2021, and we're zipping right on through the month of April. Hope you're having a good month. We're starting off on a new week. And as we do, I'd just like to ask you to join me in a short word of prayer, if you would be so kind. Gracious God, I come to you today with thanksgiving in my heart for your many blessings that you give to each of us. And Father, how you love us and you forgive us and you have mercy on us. And Lord, your grace comes to each one of us. Lord, all we can do is thank you because it is the free gift. We can't earn it. We don't deserve it. Lord, we can't work for it. We can't do things that would impress you. We can't be religious enough for you. It's not about that religion that you're interested in. It's a relationship. So, Lord, help us to ease into that relationship today. Lord, maybe we need to get a little closer to you. Maybe we need to slow it down a little bit and pay a little more attention to you lord if that's the case help us to do that but lord knowing that you are not an angry god who is out there to get us but lord that you want us to come into that relationship with you lord that we can come in fellowship with you as your child it's mind-blowing lord it's remarkable how the creator of the universe really wants to know us and to show his great love for us. And Lord, we can just say thank you again. We're so grateful. And Lord, I would pray for those today in our congregations and those listening today, if they have a physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, financial need, whatever it might be, Lord, that you would meet them at their point of need, that you would see to it, Lord, that their needs are taken care of, Lord, that you help and maybe even a miraculous way to give them exactly what they need. And Father, we give you the praise and the glory for it. Now, Lord, I pray your blessing upon the next few minutes as we are here together today. We'll look at your word, Lord. May it be an honor to you. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, again, this is Reverend Phil Anderson, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church. You know, we've been, God willing, when you hear this, still back together again. We had our first meeting on March the 7th together after a four-month absence for coronavirus concerns. Numbers were off the charts almost. Now they're much better matter of fact when i'm recording this they're way down in the yellow almost to the green which is where we really want to see them so i pray that this is still going on that we're when you hear this still in the yellow or maybe the green and we even hope they go down from there and the numbers continue to decrease we're talking today about starting our day and our week how do we start something well jesus talked a lot about practical things and one of the things that he really made clear was that we need his words we need the words of God to be a life spring, a wellspring inside of us, that they just spring up this, this idea of the water, the, the rivers flowing with the, the love of God that just come forth out of us. told the woman at the well he would give her water that she would never need to come and get again because she would never be thirsty again. <clears throat> Quite a bold statement, I must say. But 
But in Matthew 7, at the end of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, we need to build our house on the foundation. We need to base our lives on the Word of God. You know, we can boil it down. We can slice it and dice it and dissect it and hold it up to a light and run it through a machine, run it through a scanner, run it through a polisher, <laughs> whatever you want to do. It's all going to come down to the same thing. At its very essence, we have to make the choice to either obey God and live by His Word or go off on our own. Basically, that's been the choice that we've been given by God. Jesus said the wise person is like the one who builds his house on the rock instead of the one that builds his house on the sand. And the difference between the two is one of them listens to what Jesus said and obeys it, and the other one doesn't. So there's our choice. <laughs> you know, I was thinking that it's almost like having every day as the start of something really special, a masterpiece. We have been given such a gift to be alive and to be able to communicate with God, to have confidence in Him that when He says He's going to do something, we know He's going to do it. When we pray to Him, we know that He is hearing us. He is listening. He knows us intimately. He created us. He designed us. Before we were ever conceived, he knew us. God chose us. Jesus Christ died for us. The Holy Spirit empowers us. I remember the song that we've sang in church when I was growing up. It says, he has known our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. We're not going to fool God by trying to be super spiritual. We may fool people. I'm not even sure we're going to fool people very long. So we, we, we just go to the Lord. We build our life on the Word. We, we get into the Word. I don't know how much you've been in the Word your whole life, whether it was something that was emphasized or whether you figured the pastor would read the Scriptures and just give it to you, kind of like a mother bird chewing up a worm and giving it to the baby bird, you know? It's almost how some people view church and their Christian life. But God's got more for us than that. He wants each of us to develop that relationship and to grow deeper, to sink our roots deeper. You know, we're in this growing season now and things are turning green. The crops will soon be up. Oh my. Talk about a, a, a lesson. It's a lesson of the seed and how we have to plant the seed for things to grow. Well, the seed is the word. If we plant the word in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds, it may take a while. The seed doesn't sprout up overnight. But if we cultivate it, if we water it, if we fertilize it, if we really stick with it, it's going to produce a crop. And then the harvest is going to come. I really trust that you will do that. I pray that you will find time every day to get into the word, even if it's just a few verses so that God can begin to work with you and that you now are developing this ability to build your house on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. Friends, I really enjoyed having you with me today. I hope you come back again tomorrow for more Fresh Bread. Until then, this is Reverend Phil Anderson speaking and wishing you a very great day today. God bless you and we'll see you tomorrow.